Hello everybody, welcome to National Gallery of Canada. My name is Anne and I'm very happy to show you around the, the gallery today, the different activities we have, the different exhibition we do have to give you a sense of what it is to be at National Gallery these days. Whenever you arrive at the gallery, you can have this wonderful long walk in this 45 degree angle colonnade that leads you to the Grand Hall. Welcome in the Grand Hall, a gathering space where people can discuss or relax among themselves before or after entering or going to the galleries. We are on the first level of exhibition space right now and more specifically we are in the garden court. So right behind me you will notice this beautiful curated garden by Cornelia Oberlander. So it's a wonderful space to regroup, to enjoy, to breathe in. You will notice throughout the galleries that we have different QR codes that are there for the public so they can scan and get a bit more information about different artworks we have on display. We are now standing in front of the first artwork that entered the National Gallery of Canada um, collection in 1880. So we have the painting of Lucius O'Brien, who was also the first director of the Royal Academy, the ancestor of National Gallery of Canada, Lucius O'Brien, Sunrise on the Saguenay. It's a wonderful Saguenay landscape, Cap Trinité, and the beautiful early morning light that lightened this landscape make it clear that the artist was part of an art movement called the Luminist. Artists that are in awe in front of this wonderful light. One of the great things about visitors who come to the gallery, most of the time they see artwork, and they know them before even engaging with them. And that's the case with this artwork behind me, a meeting of school trustee by Robert Harris. A lot of people come here and recognize this painting because it was subject of a, of a Canadian Heritage Minute. Another interesting fact about our collection is that we host and we display the largest collection of Group of Seven artworks. So behind me we have uh, Tom Thompson, uh, the Jack Pine, not necessarily part of the Group of Seven, but a major influencer of the group as well. So all around us there are different paintings of the Group of Seven. We are also lucky enough to have right behind this wall different sketches made by Tom Thompson. The National Gallery of Canada's collection also includes historical and modern art from different places around the world. In this beautiful second level room, we have artworks by Van Gogh, by Gustave Klim, by Marcel Duchamp, and so on, and they are yours to discover. After your tour, you may want to come to the boutique to get one souvenir to bring it with you and of course get a coffee at our coffee shop that is right behind us. Thank you for joining this virtual tour of National Gallery of Canada. We hope to see you soon. Thank you.